Hi all of you, young boys and girls in the threshold of uh, starting your new journey for graduation, post graduation and all other things. Admission process is on across the system. National, international, we all would are in geared up zone to get into some new course, some new beginning and something to happen across. Today we will begin with a series of uh, information regarding scholarships, specifically international scholarships, specifically those students who are graduating out from colleges, B.Tech, Engineering, Medical, whichever field they are. So there are lots of scholarships which are in place wherein we may be aware, we may not be aware, but some very good scholarship whether the scholar, the name of that scholarship itself carries enough weightage. So as a series of these information, I will be talking about the Rhodes Scholarship today. Now Rhodes Scholarship is one of the most oldest and amongst the best scholarships which one can really aspire for. See this scholarship is towards getting admission in one of the oldest universities of UK that is Oxford University. Now how do you really apply for this scholarship? What is the eligibility criteria for this scholarship? You, you can see this scholarship is a worldwide scholarship. It is not limited to Indians or it is not limited to Asians. From people from as across from US to any Asian country can apply for this scholarship. There is a limited bandwidth available in terms of the time when you can really apply. This is the time that you can apply. There is an age group wherein how, how what is the age wherein you can apply. So the minimum age group is 18 years. So even a school going student who has just graduated out from class 12th is eligible to be a part of it while the maximum age group is around 27 years probably this year they will be considering up to as on 1 10 2 0 2 2 your age should not be more than 27 years so from the 18 years bandwidth to 27 years all are eligible now you may ask what what is that they are looking forward to it's a very diversified open kind of an uh, application process that you have to go through with it in terms of there is no specific requirements here you must have a 75 percent and plus marks in it or you must have done some leadership roles into it yes there are certain criteria which are there there are certain criteria which are there but there those are not the limiting criteria those are not the criteria wherein if you only have 75 percent then only it will be there are hundreds of other factors which are associated with it. Now those hundred factors, those other things which you have done right from your school days to your college days become relevant and important. I always would put across to you young students, young girls and boys that it is your complete CV. It is not only your academic credentials that make a difference. It is your complete CV in terms of whatever you have achieved academically, whatever you have achieved on your personal front, whatever you have become socially relevant in this age of modern day world, wherein there is a lot of things which are happening on the digital media itself, you must be socially relevant. Because this scholarship is now open for all of us, so the opening date where the, the, when the scholarship has started, wherein you can apply is with effect from 1st June 2022, it will be on the period wherein you can apply would be up till 1st August. 01082022. So young boys and girls, you have only 20 odd days left. Rush through and any other information probably you need. So you can mail the, to this mail ID of india.secretary at roadtrust.com also and you can get back to all us also. So now from this kind of uh, series of lectures which I would be giving on this dopamine channel, you would find that scholarships how to get a scholarship, which scholarship has become relevant, at what stage it has become relevant, we will continue to delve upon it. From class 12th, even there are other scholarship, to your graduation, to your post graduation, to even your, your doctoral scholars. Things. So I think we must get into understanding this road scholarship today. Again, I will have the next lecture which would be on another of uh, the scholarships which are relevant. And the word scholarship itself, road scholar, the moment you are a road scholar, it automatically signifies what you have already achieved. So let's fight it out. Let's uh, don't feel ki 
I have not done much in the system, so I may not be eligible. No, it is not like that. You may be found very, very relevant as per the requirements of these scholars' achievements. So go ahead, apply for it, and I think uh, you would have got some material right across, seeing across what you have to do. See to it. If you have queries, come back to us. Come back to us. We will answer each and every query of you.